So the construction project kitchen remodel continues. Fashion show. <laughs> Fashion show what? <laughs> so Tim has got drywall in and now it's time to mud and sand and mud and sand and mud Watch and sand this. some more. So that's kind of his project today. Mud. Super slow progress, but that happens when you keep traveling when we're doing a kitchen remodel. And look, it's Darth Vader. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> um, so I have to ask you, um, what's with the duct tape? I'm tired of air conditioning our attic. That's, ah, that's, that's that the only duct is? tape I can find. So let me show you uh, said duct tape over here. This is the duct tape I'm refer duct tape I'm referring to. This is Hunter's Play duct tape. Not sure if you guys can see it, but it's got like lips on it and leopard print. <laughs> so Tim used it to duct tape the hole. You didn't have ask permission. He did. He asked me, and I said, "Sure, why not? It's duct tape." <laughs> but we've been traveling and uh, want to keep the electric bill down. Actually, on top of that, with us traveling, we don't want any critters to fly into the attic and then come in our house. Could that happen? Uh -huh. So I think that duct tape job was a good one. But that's really funny that we used special duct tape. Yeah, and then all the cabinets, all the upper cabinets, all the upper cabinets have been taken out. I'm so glad we're doing this kitchen remodel, even though it's just a slow process. I'm really glad we were doing it. It's an old house and it really needed it. All right, let the sanding begin. I will get out of here while you do your thing. There is a store in Jacksonville Beach that we've always driven by. It's a clothing store and we're always like, oh look, they have really cute stuff. Let's check it out. Hunter always notices all the sparkly stuff in the window. Well, we're gonna go check it out today. But the reason you're coming along with us is because it's kind of cool. It's haunted. Well, at least not the store itself is haunted, but actually one of the dressing rooms. So I promise Hunter we're not gonna actually go in the haunted dressing room. <laughs> I think it will freak you out too much, right? I was almost gonna cry when she told me that. Oh no, no, I wouldn't make you do it. So anyway, what they say, what the stories are, is when you go in the dressing room, it feels like somebody's touching you. So talk about creepy, right? Oh, she's going, creepy. I want you to go in there and see. You want me to see? No, I'm not gonna leave you behind. You do it. You do what? Do but it. supposedly you just feel like you know, like shivers, like someone is in there with you. And, but it looks like a really cute store, so we're gonna go check out the store itself. Oh, yeah, and, some uh, sparkly things. Some sparkly things. So you guys get to come with us to the haunted uh, Jacksonville uh, Beach store. Uh, <laughs> so here is the store that we're going to. Hunter's walking down the red carpet. <laughs> Don't you like the red carpet? Yeah. They have a runway in the middle of the store. Oh, look at all the guitars and the drum set. Look at this. How cute. Yeah, that's not for you. Don't even think it. Not even for you. Oh, look at the leather jacket. Cool. I'm scared to see. This is a really cute store. How oh, fun. And look at the chandelier. This is really cool. Oh, his eyes his just eyes moved. moved. <laughs> he can tell you your fortune. Walking. I'm at what? What are you pondering in life? <gasps> it's Wait. It's Wait. <laughs> Stay here. Stay here. So there are the dressing rooms. But Hunter, let me even go back there. <laughs> I like the shades. <laughs>
and the people next to us, Hunter's like, hey, hey, look at that, look at that kid and tell me what's wrong with them. Tell me what's wrong with them. And I look over and it's a, a probably a teenager or college age and his swimsuit is way down past his underwear. You know that look I'm talking about. So what do you think of that look, Hunter? I don't know. So we get to the beach, we I look around and I see him walking by with his underwear underwear up and his pants down. I think there's another there's two of like that. They both have their underwear show. <laughs> So what do you want to say to say to, to these kids? What do you want to say? Do not do that. Pull up your pants, right? Yeah, pull up your pants. Seriously, pull up your pants. No one wants to see that, huh? No. <laughs> no, not at all. So I got home to two big boxes of stuff. Yay! And I'm pretty sure I know what they are. I I think they are some goodies for Jen Tracker and Tim Tracker. We have a meet up with them at Walt Disney World at Magic Kingdom during the 24 hour event at Magic Kingdom. I don't know if you guys have heard about that or not, but over Memorial Holiday, Magic Kingdom will stay open for 24 hours. So literally you can get there at 6 a.m., go all through the night. It doesn't close. You can go all the way through 3 a.m., 4 a.m., see the sunrise over Magic Kingdom, and then it ends at 6 a.m. So pretty crazy that you can actually spend 24 hours at Magic Kingdom. So anyway, we are having a meetup with the trackers at Magic Kingdom, and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be at two o'clock at the Tomorrowland Terrace, and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a costume contest. It can either be a regular costume or Disney bounding, and we're gonna have prizes, lots and lots of prizes. So I think that's what the boxes are. So let's take a look and see what's inside the boxes. Okay, so this is the first box. Oh yeah, and they are Mickey ears. One of my favorite little giveaways are the Mickey Mouse ears. Now you can actually buy these at the Disney parks, but you know what? If you get them for free, that's even better. So let me pull these out. Here we go. So here they are. And they even have a little strap to hold on. But these are the original ones. And it says the Walt Disney World Resort. How cute are those? So these are fantastic. They're good for um, kids and adults. My kids actually wear these as well. And if you want, you can even take them over to um, the store at Downtown Disney or at Magic Kingdom and you can get it embroidered with your name on the back, which is kind of cool. So I know that these are for the meetup for the 24 hour event with the trackers. We are gonna be giving away lots and lots of Mickey ears for that one. So I think this whole box is Mickey ears. Yep, looks like that one is all Mickey ears. So let's see. Oh, <laughs> let's see what's in this one. So this one is kind of fun. So you know it is 24 hours. You know I just said it was a 24 hour event. Well, we will see people taking a snooze all over the place. They'll literally be you know, sleeping on the park benches, on the floor, you name it. So I thought for a giveaway, it would be fun to have a pillow and blanket. <laughs> we have these cute little Disney Cruise bags that are actually blankets. I don't know if you can see it. It's super fuzzy. Here's actually a picture of it. So if you open it up and unzip it, you can literally take out the blanket part. If you see it's kind of tucked in here, you can pull out the blanket. So while you're at Magic Kingdom, say 4 a.m. in the morning and you're tired and you want to take a little nap, you can just pull this out and use it as a pillow or a blanket or both and take a little snooze. So we have four of these that we're gonna be giving away during Jen and Tim's meetup as well. So we have a couple more prizes coming for the meetup, but these are two of the fun ones. So check out in the description more details about the Tracker meetup at Magic Kingdom over the 24 hour event. It will be a lot of fun. Lots of fun.